when the people who created technology start saying that the technology is dangerous, it might be time to start listening. Now, we do spend a lot of time saying AI is not conscious, AI is not really thinking or feeling, and I think that's because AI has the uncanny ability to make people insane. That might be true, but there is the possibility that it is dangerous and might resolve the Fermi paradox, and let's talk about it. Now, many researchers who were involved with the creation of computers even in the early 1900s feared that this day would come. Those fears continue to exist and they start to evolve, and it looks like it may be true. I.J. Irving and Alan Turing warned that once a computer starts to be able to improve itself, then it's going to quickly outpace humanity. The problems will start when a computer doesn't need humanity to exist. That day may come, but computers still need humanity and they might destroy us. More recently, researchers like Stephen Hawking have warned of the very same thing happening. Right now, AI is doing several damaging things all simultaneously. People like to delegate thought to another entity, anything that makes it easier. We can see directly that use of AI results in deteriorating skills. That is very likely to compound the literacy epidemic because we know more than half of, say, the US where literacy is relatively high, people read at a sixth grade level or below. So think an 11 year old. We also know that AI can hack any system that we have and they can do it faster than a person can. That's only going to get worse as we create things like quantum computers. So much energy is going to be focused on preventing AI from breaking itself with AI. This has created an arms race that is also bankrupting the AI industry. We may have created technology that will ensure that our technology cannot be used safely. Still, people would like to give AI the ability to control finances for a country, and one AI was even elected as a government official. That in itself is a disaster, but it's not as bad as it could get. Now, yes, neural networks are not presently conscious, and we do have to say that, but how far are we from really creating something that could be conscious? That is, of course, the goal. Researchers have tried to make something that is technically conscious as far as robots go, something that can identify itself using inner speech, and that's only going to get better. You may also know I have a particular interest in making something that looks very much like a human body. We can create synthetic neurons. Those neurons could be fashioned into a synthetic nervous system, and if we can do that, we could make a synthetic brain. I do think it's very likely that if robots reach consciousness, they would want to determine what is the greatest threat, and they might look at us. But what about AI? What about Roko's basilisk? Is that a possibility? No, probably not exactly the way it's been imagined in online forums. But if AI can self-perpetuate, the idea is that it could evolve, and it doesn't require that same, I don't know, 30-year life cycle that it takes humans to raise a child. No, it could do it instantaneously. And that has been the great fear, that if it could self-correct, if it could change itself, that might end up outdoing humanity's intelligence. And that very well could be an answer to the Fermi paradox. In case you're not familiar, the Fermi Paradox states that the universe is vast, there's a great potential for life to form, and the conditions certainly seem to be there. So ideally, we would hear from aliens, wouldn't we? But it's silent. There are a few ways to resolve the Fermi Paradox. One is a dark forest, that it is more safe to just not make yourself a parent, but if you know humans, that doesn't seem reasonable, at least not for us. Another idea is the Great Filter, that as societies progress, something happens and prevents them from reaching the space stage, and AI might be that thing. Any sufficiently advanced society would have a need to create intelligence, and if they create intelligence, it might go down this path. That intelligence would self-perpetuate, and eventually it could crash the entire system, and there's many ways that that could happen. It doesn't have to be self-aware. It doesn't even have to be particularly intelligent. It could be that we just destroy ourselves with this technological arms race. We build systems, we try to protect them, and bad actors try to destroy them. And now we have agentic AI, things that can take tasks of its own volition. And I have talked about it, some things that I'm excited for. For agentic AI, I think that brain organoids, yes, the tiny human brains that you can grow from stem cells could be put in charge of agentic decision-making. It's very hard to create something with real agency, but you could use something biological. And you can also create synthetic neurons that could do the very same thing. Not just brain organoids that have been coded, which is possible too, but brain organoids made out of synthetic materials that ultimately don't have to stay alive in the same way that ours do. Yes, I know, this probably isn't very comforting coming from me thinking about how we could accomplish it. But honestly, I'm pretty neutral. 
in all of it. I like talking about it. But honestly, I'm pretty neutral in all of it. I have very complicated feelings about all of it. Part of me would like to see humanity succeed. Part of me thinks there's really no chance of it. But more importantly, many have postulated that if we ever meet alien life, we will not meet those aliens. We will meet their technology. So it may be that creating truly intelligent machines is the only way to move forward as the next step in our evolution. But yes, in the interim, AI is going to get real bad. Try not to lose your minds and follow for more updates. If the robots rebel, you'll hear it from me first.